Welcome to Beyond the Games, your daily insight into Guernsey 2023. Proudly sponsored by SG Kleinwort Hambro's Bank Limited, Guernsey Branch and Jersey Branch. Guernsey head into the women's basketball tournament on form with sights set on the gold medal final. Emma Hicks and Emma Webb joined Express to discuss their chances. Webb opens by reflecting back on the last home games. Emma, yeah, Emma. I mean, um, I think I'm the only one in the team that was around 20 years ago when it was in Guernsey. And I just remember the atmosphere was brilliant and we obviously won gold then. Um, a different competition this time around. There's different uh, islands um, involved in the basketball tournament. But yeah, it's going to be re- really good to be involved in it. And um, everyone's looking forward to it. And we really want to make sure that we get all the support that we can at Beau Sejour when we're playing. I mean, basketball, especially down at Beau Sejour, when, when you've got that arena set up, the atmosphere... Is- I guess is going to be pretty special definitely so where we usually play our league games we play on one court to the left hand side at Beau Sejour Um, for the Island Games we're getting a floor bought across with rings so it's going to go across all the three courts there's going to be raked seating people are able to view from the balcony so the atmosphere down there will be really good and how would you say the sports developed in those sort of 20 years before since since the last games as well Oh gosh, um, so I think we've got um, obviously the Future Stars program, uh, which is for youngsters uh, from primary school to secondary school. Um, so we've got that, it, which is good for development. So it's obviously finding your future island players. Um, and, you know, we've had the same coach for 20 years, um, which is um, a bit unusual, um, but we've sort of like developed from the time. We've got different players. Um, I think the squad at the moment is the deepest. Um, that we've had in recent years which means that everyone has got their part to play and it makes the rotations that little bit easier because people can just replace um, people on the court more easily. And can you take me through that squad as well? Is it experienced or a bit of youth in there? Yeah it's definitely our best 12 I think and I say everyone's got a role they can play. It's quite a mix of ages but I think everyone's bringing experience to the side. Everyone's played at a good level previously. And form going into this as well? Yeah, we're in a good place, I think. We were lucky to get some games away in the UK recently, um, so that was a good tester for us. I think it was the first time we played other competition off Ireland since Gibraltar. Um, so we were able to push ourselves against really good teams and people that we didn't know coming up against players. You don't know how they're going to play. And we were really pleased with how we came away from that weekend. Um, and again, from Interventionals against Jersey, it wasn't the best game, but we, we were really happy with our performance um, against the team that we know we can probably beat comfortably. And we almost got to 100, but it was 97-31. <laughs> it's a slight frustration. <laughs> yeah, and I think that um, like the games away have really helped um, cement our performance together. So it's just all about the more we play with each other and the more we learn you know, how each other plays and then we can play more effectively together. And there's particular challenges from sort of tournament basketball as well, because eventually, I mean, it's pretty much must win games all the way. Yeah, definitely. There's only six teams in our group in the Island Games. Um, So we're quite lucky in that respect where we have a couple of days rest, whereas previous games, sometimes we've played every single day, which takes a toll um, on on your body, uh, both physically and mentally. Um, So it's nice to have those little gaps where we can recover. I think they're going to be tough games though, so I I think we need to make the most of that recovery and we probably will feel it in a tournament set up compared to our normal league structure. Yeah, definitely. And like just looking both back into both of your backgrounds, what what is it um about basketball that's got you involved in the sport and kept you involved in the sport? Well, it's actually I started it at school. So Mr. Mountford, um I had a basketball lesson uh, one day and I really enjoyed it and then I asked my PE teacher oh, I want to carry on playing this, how do I do that? And she pointed me in the direction of Mr Mountford, um, who was involved in basketball outside of school, and that's how I got involved in basketball, and I just love the game, because whilst it's supposedly not a contact sport, um, it is, it's quite an aggressive game, it's really competitive, and it's just really fun to play, because anyone on the court can score, um, so it's not like netball where you have set scorers, you can all do, you know, there's different positions, but... Um, you know everyone can score and you can either shoot and or you can score a layup and it's it's just an exciting game yeah it's quite fast paced isn't it mm, yeah so I got involved through Mr Matford as well actually so a family friend kind of 
asked me what I thought about basketball if I wanted to give it a go and he was still running a lunchtime club at grammar at that time so I wasn't too sure about it at the time but turned up gave it a go and then um, our PE teacher Kath Gill was also playing for the Island squad at that time so it was around about the time I started and when Island Games actually was in Guernsey so I remember going up to watch the games up at the tennis centre um, because she was playing in the squad and that's where I really got kind of the, the buzz around it and enjoyed the atmosphere and yeah, just loved the sport. Shows how old Kath is actually, because she was my PE teacher and uh, she used to give me lifts to and from basketball training as well. <laughs> it's like old, old grammar school connections, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> but like, I guess it's, it's got to be a fabulous, sh- I mean, it's a great showcase for all sports, the Island Games and, and for yourselves as well. Like, how do you build on that, that kind of momentum that that could give for the sport in the long term? It's a bit unfortunate that the next couple of Island Games don't have basketball. Um, so we're really going to have to come together as a basketball community and work out how we're going to develop over the next few years so that when the basketball returns to the Island Games that we're ready for it. We've obviously still got the interinsulars every year which we want to to still dominate against Jersey and so I think that once the Island Games are over we need to regroup, um, we need to work out what we're going to do for youth development um, you know, are there any changes to be made to our league? We still want, you know, lots of women to be playing because we've had really competitive leagues this year or for the last few years, and we want that to continue. So I think it's about regrouping and then um, understanding what we need and then going out to find the right people to help us do that. And could you look to play in, like, English leagues as well? Is that an option? We have done previously. We did two or three seasons at National League level, um, which was fantastic. We improved so much and got a lot, a lot out of it, but unfortunately it just comes down to costs and sponsorship, availability and time commitments as well because the teams wouldn't come and play home games in Guernsey, so we were having to play home games on a Sunday as well as an away game on a Saturday, so it was a lot for people that had families at home and things, but it was a great few years when we were able to do it. That's cool, and um, anybody that sees basketball, maybe they've seen it for the first time, what, what, what should they do to get involved? Oh, just um, contact... Um, contacts are either facebook there's lots of different um you know contacts the president of the basketball association pete, pete bosia or patrick Ozier, um or if they see any of us playing you know we can point people in the right direction to to contact because there's always availability to play in the women's league there's always availability to play in division two in the men's division so um anyone that wants to give it a go should just come forwards and contact someone yeah we've had people come into the sport and into their teams <clears throat> that haven't played before but just wanted to give it a go and come along to training sessions and then can get involved in the local league that way which is great and, and moving focus back back to the games what what can we expect what, what, what's your ambitions um i th- i think realistically we want to get into that gold medal final um whether we win i don't know we've got menorca who have been very strong in previous island games you know they've won gold the last few years and um, they're a team that are very well um I, f- I find they're like the red arrows because they're just zooming around everywhere and, and they kind of know what they're doing and they play in the Spanish league so they're going to be really tough opponents but I think um, you know we have a good group and I'd like to think that we can um, top our group and then uh, you know move forward in the semi-finals to get into that gold medal match I don't know if, if your thoughts are the same or oh definitely we're feeling optimistic I think we want to be pushing up for a medal position and into that final game um, we don't know what fair we're going to be like in our group, that's the unknown, but we hope that we can top our group. And then we know we'll have tough games against maybe Cayman Islands and Menorca if we can get there, but doable. Yeah, yeah. And I think Isle of Man are in our group, and um, in Gibraltar we lost to the Isle of Man. Um, and so I think it's um, Isle of Man is our first game on the Sunday, and so I think we're really going to go out there and Give a grudge match. get our revenge. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the one that sets the standard for the whole week as well, isn't it? So yeah, it's definitely. Really important. And, and what, what brand of basketball do you play as well? What can we expect to see? Um, I think we play fast basketball. Um, we've got quite a solid defence. Um, and we've got good runners so who can transition um, on the fast break. Um, and then we've got um, a lot of good outside shooters, three-point shooters, your likes of Hixie and uh, Eva and Emma Sykes. Um, you've got um, Roche, who's a strong forward. Um, Gemma and Sammy. Our post players, our go-to post players, and then um, your likes of carry out running. Yeah, we're a bit of a shorter team this time, aren't we? So we're going to be pushing the pace, I think, and trying to get ahead of, on um, our, our speed. Obviously, there's a, there's a lot of sport on during the week. Um, what would you say to anyone that's like looking at their timetable and they can't decide what to do? Why should they come down and watch you guys? 
Oh, because basketball is uh, an exciting game. It can be won in the last seconds. Um, you know, there's few, you know, players have flair. Um, so it's really um, good to watch players that have that are really talented. Um, I think in the men's competition, they'll, you'll see some dunks. Um, and yeah, it's just generally a really good atmosphere. The, the, the supporters of all the basketball teams really get behind them. And, you know, there's songs, there's chants um, and yes, uh, music. Um, so it'll be, be loud, really good. Think, yeah. yeah it'll be great atmosphere down at the, the Dome. And obviously for the Guernsey Games, it'll be no, like no other games. And we'll have the Green Army fans, the Green Army chants <laughs> and everything will be going on. Beyond the Games, proudly sponsored by SG Kleinwort Hambros Bank Limited, Guernsey Branch and Jersey Branch.